Welcome back to MLG Championship Sunday. After reviewing the play, our commissioner says it's good. Instinct are your 2010 Orlando champions. Huge, huge congratulations to those guys. And Scott, we have to talk about the other three teams we saw tonight. You know, first off, status quo, they were my surprise of the tournament. Hats off to them finishing fourth. Final boss, they came in at third. And then, of course, classic back-to-back -back second places. Classic is the real deal. They'll be around, and I have to personally take some time to thank or to congratulate Lunchbox and Roy for winning their first ever tournament. They've been competing since Halo 2. It's about time they finally got it. Huge congratulations to those guys. Elmite Warrior, he's back on top, and Cloud becomes one of five players to win back-to-back -back events. And I think that's going to do it for us. Got any final thoughts? Nah, I just wanted to congratulate Instinct, Roy, Roy and Lunch. It's about time. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for Scott and I. Thank you for watching MLG Championship Sunday. It's now time for the Old Spice Report. Welcome to the Old Spice Post Game Report. I'm Julie Alexandria, joined here by DMAC. What a day here in Orlando, Florida at the finals. Instinct shutting down Classic. First time for them. You know, Instinct shut everybody down this weekend. They were extremely impressive. We really saw great teamwork prevail all weekend long and shut down a lot of big teams with a lot of firepower. Well, it's about time. They've been waiting for it for a long time. Well deserved. Let's talk about what we saw earlier today on Sunday. Instinct, again, beating Classic 3-0. They swept early in the day. Then Classic came back to beat Final Boss 6-4. Final Boss did put up a good fight. And then Instinct again beat Classic 6-2. Is this what you expected? No, not quite what I expected, but I'm really not surprised. I knew that if Instinct came out and played their game, they could certainly dominate. And Classic, they finally came into a top-tier team. We've seen that. A little bit of a surprise from Final Boss, though. I didn't expect them to turn it on so early, be so good early in this se so early in the season, but they came out the gate firing strong. They did. Let's go to the leaderboard and check out where our top eight teams stand right now. At number eight, Straight Rippin. Number seven, Darkest Hour. Number six, Triggers Down. Number five, Believe the Hype. Number four, Status Quo. At number three is Final Boss. Number two, Classic. And in the number one spot is Instinct. So how did that shape up to what you guys in the booth had predicted? Well, we had a point system, and when it broke down, unfortunately, Puckett took the victory. He had 12 points. Scott had nine points, and for some reason, I ended up with eight points. I don't know how that worked out, but... Are I'm, you kidding me right now? Eight I'm, points? I'm so disappointed in myself. I expected more from you. Me too. That's my, ridiculous. Even my mother. She, she called me. She was so disappointed. You're a failure. I don't know what I'm going to do. That's all right. <laughs> Go bite your pillow. All right, let's talk about the highlights here in Orlando. Talk to me about what would you saw. Uh, well, first of all, I want to start off with straight ripping. The eighth place finish there. I was extremely surprised by that. They came out very flat. Final boss pounced on them. Status quo pounced on them. It seemed like everybody had their way with them. And then triggers down. Triggers down wasn't very good this weekend either. When you saw, they should have been able to take status quo, but that wasn't the case. And then I want to talk about the amateur teams. Four of the, our top four teams from the Doritos Combine all placed within the top 21. That's extremely impressive. It goes back to what we were saying on the pregame show. The level of competition has never been higher. People are getting really good at this game, and anybody in the top 10 could compete for a first place victory. So pretty much you're saying it's anybody's game at this point. Yeah, especially this season, this late in the game, year three, we saw Instinct come out, Classic, even Status Quo breaking into their first top four, finally. Yeah, we did see some great performances today on Sunday. All right, we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we will be joined by Roy from Instinct. Stick with us. Hello, ladies. Look at your man. Now back to me. Now back at your man. Now back to me. Sadly, he isn't me. But if he stopped using Lady scented body wash and switched to Old Spice, he could smell like he's me. Look down. Back up. Where are you? You're on a boat with the man your man could smell like. What's in your hand? Back at me. I have it. It's an oyster with two tickets to that thing you love. Look again. The tickets are now diamonds. Anything is possible when your man smells like Old Spice and not a lady. I'm on a horse. Welcome back to the Old Spice Post Game Report. I'm Julie Alexandria. Joining me here now is DMAC and Roy from Instinct. First time winner, congratulations. You must be feeling pretty good right now. 
This is an unbelievable feeling, man. I'm just, I, I'm speechless. I'm, I'm just so happy to be on this team and, and have the teammates that I do. And let me ask you, how important is it to solidify your standing right out of the gate, first event of 2010? It's just great to get off to a good start like this. I mean, from here, the sky's the limit. We, we lost three games this tournament, and I, I feel like if we keep playing like this, we could be able to take multiple tournaments in a row. Now, Roy, you've been regarded as one of the game's elite players for quite some time now, but you've never seen a first place finish. You finally got one. What finally triggered the first place? Just the right team. I mean, last year we really struggled. Um, we just couldn't find the right mix of players. And this year we picked up Elamite and Cloud, and things have just been unbelievable. Just clicked right away. Um, I, I'm, just, I'm just so comfortable on this team, and I'm, I'm back in my element. Can you literally feel the weight lifted off your shoulders? It's unbelievable. I, 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 I don't know. I, I, have to, I just have no pressure anymore, so the sky's the limit, like I said. Now, now let me talk to you about your teammates. You, you're a big-time slayer. In the offseason, you guys go, you pick up Cloud, who just won the Old Spice MVP for Orlando. Talk to me about what he brings to the team overall and especially this tournament. First of all, I just want to thank Old Spice for, for allowing us to represent their brand again. They're just the most amazing sponsor, and we really appreciate everything that they do for us. Going to Cloud, just an unbelievable player. Just really ha didn't have one bad game this entire tournament and, and was just on top of his game and, and really just led us through the entire tournament. It was awesome. And talk to me about your acquisition of Elamite. Did he really create the synergy that you guys needed to win? He's just an awesome leader. Um, Kyle just knows what to do in every situation, and he, he can direct us when we don't know what to do. And he's just an amazing person as well. And talk to me about the preparation that's going to go down between now and our next event in Columbus. Where do you guys go from here? First off, just take, take a few days break, maybe a week, and, and just <laughs> relax and enjoy it. And then after that, it's hardcore practice. Get a few lands in, hopefully and hopefully win the next turn tournament also. All right, well, congratulations again. Well-deserved and very well played. Thank you. That's going to do it for us here from the Old Spice Report in Orlando, Florida. But be sure to check in with our Doritos Combine, which comes out on May 14th to the 16th. And if you missed any of our broadcasts, you can catch all the rebroadcasts on MLGPro.com. And be sure to check us out in... Uh, Columbus, Ohio. We're coming back to Columbus uh, June 4th to the 6th for our next Pro Circuit event. On behalf of the entire MLG team, I'm Julie Alexandria. Good night.